<laughs> Sister, you remind me of me sometimes. Mm. You stretch a smile across your cheeks to keep your eyes from leaking your insides. It comes from that place on the inside, so tired from too many wet pillowcases and crumpled tissues. And even though grinning is supposed to mean you ain't got issues, you still wonder if even one person would miss you if you didn't show up in the moment. It comes from a lack of a sense of belonging, feeling wronged and having the same damn things going on for too long, wondering when you can get on the same page that the rest of the world is on. Our emotional molds are cast from a past riddled with plain second fiddle to perfect while we swim in the middle of denial about things like the reasons why we walk up wedding aisles and I can't fit into the latest styles and then we fall away pain into all these neat piles. And while we try to be satisfied with that picture of perfection injected into our mindset, we let self-loathing in wolves and sheep's clothing fill us with regret for just being who we are. We live with an anxiety that one might finally see the pain that lies so close to the surface but why should we hide? Because the very ones of us that seem so cool, calm, and laid back may in fact be the very ones contemplating suicide. Mm. Maybe even try it once or twice. Mm. And trust me, that the ones that succeeded were the ones that needed to get answers but never found them. Succeeded because they fooled everyone around them with smiles. But I'd rather see you frowning than to have to place your body in the ground. Mm. I hear the sound of you sobbing on a telephone if that's what it takes to keep you from being robbed of loving you because, sister, you ain't alone. I may not have all the answers or a perfect ending, but the message I'm sending is this. I've been in the skin you in because we, we are women. Mm. And we have to know who we are and where we are before we can, at the very least, begin to live. Yeah. So smile wide, sister, when the smile you give is from living.